Um, I've been appointed by the Lord as a watchman to warn people of what's coming. I started out as a 19-year-old hot smoking high school dropout minimum wage construction worker achieved a net worth of millions of dollars by the time I'm 46. I suffered a severe accident, shattered left arm, left leg, came home from the hospital, laid up a long time, opened the Bible. I began to realize God speaking to me about all the prophets, what all the end time prophecies are saying. And the word of God is our transpiring helping right now. I have a powerful message. The end that's coming involves the birth pains that are moving forward right now. And I have a uh, YouTube channel, Everett Triplet. I'm available to come and speak to any group of people, pay my own transportation expenses, except not in this for the money. God takes care of my expenses, but I'm available with a powerful message of what God's people are supposed to know is His people will be perishing for lack of knowledge that God has given to me. And so it's my job to warn the people. If I don't warn them, their blood will be on my hands. I'm here to tell you I'm available to warn and tell you what's coming is the birthing of a new age. There's a thousand years of peace on earth coming. It's going to involve a uh, transition where the birth pains continue to go forward until it actually gives birth to God's kingdom of heaven on the earth. But we're going to see Russia and China rise up who are the feet of iron and clay and the statue of Nebuchadnezzar's statue. And in the time of those kings, God of heaven comes and crushes those kingdoms, hits them, and brings those kingdoms to an end. But he sets up a kingdom here on this earth that will never end. Heaven on earth is coming. We're in a process. You need to know what's coming so you can position yourself to go through the transition the same way Noah went through the flood and opened the door of the ark and came out into a brand new world there all the wicked are gone because Ezekiel 18 says three times the souls who sin are the ones who will die that God takes no pleasure in the death of anyone but he's pleading with all mankind why let sin be your downfall why not rid yourself of your offensive ways get yourself a new heart when you're a right spirit with you so that you might live so the Lord takes no pleasure in the death of anyone but the souls who sin are the ones who will die Isaiah 3.10 says to tell the righteous and be well with them, right? Because they will enjoy the fruit of their deeds. The deeds of the righteous are obeying Ezekiel 4 9's instructions to get 390 days supply of wheat, barley, beans, lentils, millet. Stock up on food. Ezekiel 4, chapter 4 ends with the statement, food and water will be scarce. What's coming is the great and dreadful day of the Lord. It's destructions coming on the ungodly. God's people have not appointed the wrath. His wrath is coming on the wicked. What's going to happen is in 2 Peter 2, 6, the Lord condemned Sodom and Gomorrah by burning them to ashes, and he made them an example of what's going to happen to the ungodly. Because this destruction comes in the middle of the night when cities' populations are at the lowest levels. All the good people have gone. Shopping mall parking lots are empty. Many multi-rise, high-rise office buildings are empty. Stores are empty. The nuclear bombs are going to go off in the cities as a day of darkness and gloom. Deuteronomy 28, the last half, talks about the nation that turns away from the Lord will be punished by the curses that include turning the wind of their land into dust and powder, which is fall out death, described in Joel, chapter 1, where farmers are grieving over the loss of wheat and water out in the field, meaning it happens when the crops are out in the field. And the harvest is lost, and the food supply will be gone. And Isaiah 33 talks about grave men crying in the streets, highways are deserted, and no travelers on the road. Isaiah 33, verse 8, the fear of the Lord is the key to the treasure. The fear of God, Hear this word, you take action, and you'll be fine. This God is going to take care of his people. Tell the righteous it'll be well with them. Isaiah 3 10. Woe to the wicked, they got the goal. God is up to here. It's because of the wickedness in the land. Ezekiel 5 9, the Lord's coming to do what's never been done before, and never be done again. It's a good thing. He has a good plan.